Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwash and welcome to all in my channel Tanmay. Today's topic of discussion is on MCQ and the question is in front of you. The question is which pathway is followed in these reactions? You can see the reaction here. I request you student please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. Don't worry, after some time you will get the right answer with explanation. Now let's start. Now, if you look at the reaction, it's treated with sodium ethoxide. By the way, students, sodium ethoxide is actually a base here. Means you can say O minus Na plus. Now, it's behaving as base. Means it will abstract proton. Now, if you look at this molecule, which proton is maximum acidic? By the way, student, if you compare any of these protons, they are relatively lesser acidic compared to this proton. Why? Because it's conjugate base. If you look at, means actually if you want to check acidity of any compound, then you need to check the stability of the corresponding conjugate base. Here, after removal of proton, the negative charge is generated, I mean carbon ion is generated and this is student resonance stabilized with the nitro. Okay. So, Obviously, you can say, sir, this ne negative charge is a benzylic position. It has a stability. I agree with you. It has definitely stability because of being benzylic compared to this proton, which are sp2 hybridized and they do not have that kind of stability. And by the way, you may have a confusion, sir. Benzene, this proton, means if you look at benzene versus toluene, this proton is more acidic. Or if you look at toluene, this toluene benzylic proton is more acidic. Actually, this benzylic one, I have already uploaded a dedicated lecture on this. You may visit if you have any such confusion on this topic. Now, from here, we understand that benzylic is more acidic. Second thing, there is this nitro group. So, it can also participate in resonance to stabilize the corresponding carbon ion. And it should look, the resonance structure should look like now there may be a question you may ask sir ring strain is there i agree ring strain is there but okay this way stabilization possible okay now this much part we understood now next is so sodium ethoxide will abstract this base and it will produce these anion carbon ion okay i mean this carbon ion one now later on what it will do it will react how So it will push here and this will leave and ultimately it will produce this naphthalene fused with a five member ring along a double bond. Okay. So this is the product. Now student one thing I want to say that this conjugate base has a significant stability resonance. So you can say that first will be acid base reaction. And second is elimination reaction to produce alkene. I mean this double bond. So what category this mechanism belongs? This mecha this is actually a overall. If you say mechanism, it's a elimination. But the pathway is actually E one C B. Why? Because E one means actually the removal of this group, but it's not happening here. First thing what happening, this carbon ion or conjugate base is generating means the acid base reaction. Later on the elimination is takes place to produce this alkene. So this belongs to E1CB category. Next. So in this case, which pathway followed in this reaction? Answer, uh, obviously this should be option D. It's E1CB pathway. Now you may have a question that sir, why not other? If you say E2. For example, E2 elimination means it's, it's like a uh, this proton will be abstracted simultaneously it will come, it will leave. No, that's not possible because OET is not that much a good leaving group. Okay. And second thing, for such kind of elimination, proper orbital overlap is needed. I mean, sigma star of this ETO bond versus sigma of this CH bond its orientation alignment is not possible in such strain system so e2 not e1 for e1 leaving group must be very good such that it can leave earliest 
but here NO2 cannot leave that much R sorry this ETO cannot leave that much efficiently because ETO minus is not a good living group right for scene elimination the group must be same or group must remain in same orientation but I haven't mentioned and if you look at this problem also little carefully that uh, I haven't shown the geometry accurately based on which you can conclude sir and if you look at this bond, this bond in the scene, so how elimination takes place? Hydrogen and ETO need to be in scene elimination. So that is also not possible. So this indicate it is the right answer. So this is the end of this question. I believe this video may be useful. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye bye.